So 25 years ago, in 1995, Bill Gates published a book called The Road Ahead. And I remember reading that book. I remember the cover now. I remember where I was when I was reading it. And it was a big deal. It was a big deal at the time for what he wrote. And uh, 25 years later, you know, the power of hindsight is 2020. You can look at what was he right about and, and what, was, what was he wrong about. So one of the things that he was right about is the impact of the internet. So he spoke about the internet at the time was called the information superhighway. That was always the default one that came from his book. It was used in the media extensively. When I say media, that was pre-social media, right? So we're talking about TV, print, radio, magazines, and so on. So uh, he spoke about uh, paper maps becoming digital. He spoke about music becoming digital. He spoke about getting recipes uh, uh, from grandma uh, digitally and so on. And obviously that happened. None of us have... Uh, uh, you know, printed a map recently to, to, to go and visit a, a restaurant uh, in your city. Uh, and for recipes, you were going on YouTube, uh, looking at videos on how to prepare and lists of recipes and so on. And music, of course, that's, we spoke a lot about audio and what audio has, how far audio has, has come. And we're looking at a, an audio 2.0 now with a, where we're revisiting the digitization of audio that happened with the first uh, iPod uh, in the beginning. Uh, another thing as well, they spoke about, about computers being much, much smaller to fit in your pocket. And that's the smartphones that, that we all have today. So originally phones in the 73, when they were created, uh, it, you know, they were ginormous and they were a status symbol today. Uh, so then we look at 1995, still phones were still not great at the time, sorry, right? So it was, they were much better than the 70s version of the phone. But still, what he was talking about was still, we didn't have the touch of, of smartphones that in 2007, the iPhone uh, uh, brought along. One thing that he, that he points out that he was wrong about is internet kiosks. He had a concept of having, uh, you know, internet being ubiquitous and, and strong and readily available. So uh, in the form of internet kiosks, obviously with us having, all, all of us having our smartphones and our super, super fast mobile internet with 5G and, and others, that there was, there's no longer the need for the kiosks. So he talks a lot about his 25 years and, and what he thought about in the past and what came true. In he does this in written format on his blog and uh, on on his YouTube channel. Uh, so if you want to take a look at those, uh, that's all uh, from me for today. I'll see you in, a, in two weeks on this. And in the meantime, what technology do you think you can predict in the next 25 years? Kids always ask me about when are we going to space, and I always tell them that you know, not in in their lifetime they will, in my lifetime, uh, they they won't, and they you know, uh, uh, and they feel upset that I won't be there. It's like, no, no, Dad, I'll take you, you know, I'll take you with me, and you know, I'm not sure I'll, I'll be there now or health wise, you know, to, to go out into space, but definitely in our kids' lifetime, the uh, space tourism is is a is a reality. So what what 25 year predictions? Do you have, let me know in private message or in the comments.